Now, I touched on this at the very beginning, but I want to take one more shot at discussing the cover letter. So, this short lecture is just to address that one issue. I call it an issue because I have read my fair share of cover letters over the course of my career, and I can tell you from personal experience that applicants have denied themselves the opportunity for an interview because of either the lack of a cover letter or one that reads more like their seven-year-old daughter wrote it, complete with spelling and syntax errors, and for sure the grammar was atrocious. So creating the perfect cover letter does not have to be difficult. Cover letters are generally short and to the point. You should address your cover letter to someone in particular. You should never, ever address your cover letter to someone like dear sir or madame or to whom it may concern. It is unprofessional and does not show a genuine interest in the company or the job. The cover letter is the sole purpose for looking at the resume. If it is written badly, the resume might not get a once-over. See, in most cases, the cover letter is just as important as the resume. So, I have briefly written the right information of one. We're going to cover it here, but there's also a download. The cover letter should have a basic reading and the position that you are applying for. It should be no more than two lines long. The second paragraph should be a brief description of your qualifications and why you applied to work for them. The closing should announce an interest in hearing from them soon and a thank you for their time. Mm -hmm.